Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augustin. And in this tutorial, I should be looking at how to simplify exponential equations or exponential functions. These exponential uh, equations uh, normally or mostly appear when we are finding the integral factor for a first order ordinary differential equation. So it is worth knowing them and how to uh, evaluate them. So I hope this uh, one, two, three, four will, will help us to uh, evaluate some of these uh, equations or functions whenever they appear, wherever they will appear. Now, let's have fun. But before we continue, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button for more videos. Now, let us take the first one. We have y equal to e to the power lin x. How do we simplify this? To do this, we will take lin of both sides. So we will take lin y equal to lin e to the power lin x. And then from the basic laws of uh, logarithm, if you have n log a, then it's equal to log a to the power n. So here, this is the power. So I'm bringing the power back here. I'm having lin y is equal to lin x dot lin e. And we know that lin e is the same as log e base e. So I'm going to have lin y is equal to lin x dot 1. And I'll have lin y equal to lin x. Now we take anti lin on both sides and we have y equal to x. Very simple as that. So since you have y is equal to x and y is equal to this, then it means that the whole of this is equal to x. And let's look at the second one. If we take the second one, we have y equal to e as a negative lin ax, where a is a constant. Now, if we take lin of both sides, you're having lin y equal to lin e to the power negative lin ax and then from this law of in, uh, logarithm we are going to have lin y equal to negative lin ax dot lin e and from this law of logarithm we have lin y to be equal to negative lin ax but lin e is 1. Now from this law we are going to have lin y to be equal to lin ax to the power negative 1. Very simple as that. So this one implies that we have lin y equal to lin into bracket 1 on ax. Very simple as that. So if we take anti lin of both sides, the lin will cancel the lin. And we have y equal to 1 on ax. So this whole thing is equal to 1 on ax. Very simple as that. Now let us continue with the third one. Now for the third one, we have y equal to e to the power t plus lin x. So here, we know that lin e is 1. So I want to express this t in terms of lin. So this t is the same as lin e to the power t because this t will be equal to from this law this t will come here so I'm having t lin e and t will be equal to t since lin e is 1 so here I'm going to write y equal to e to the power lin e to the power t plus lin x and then from the first law of our logarithm if we are adding the log we multiply the numbers so we're going to have y equal to e to the power lin t times x. Very simple as that. So for that one, if we take lin of both sides, we have lin y equal to lin e to the power lin t times x. And then from this law, this one will come here. So we have lin y equal to lin t times x lin e and lin e here will be 1 
So we have ln y equal to ln t times x. And if you take anti ln on both sides, you have y equal to t x. So here, we are going to have the whole is as t times x. Now what about the last one? For the last one, we are going to have it here. We have y equal to, so I've explained this here already. I've explained the t here already. So I'll write this straightly as e to the power ln e to the power t minus ln x. Now this will give me y equal to, now from the second law of logarithm, if we are subtracting, we will divide the numbers. We have e to the power ln e to the power t divided by x. Now if we take anti, sorry, ln of both sides, we have ln e to the power ln e to the power t on x. So this one will become ln y equal to ln into bracket e to the power t on x ln e. And ln e is 1. So we have ln y equal to ln e to the power t on x. If we take anti ln of both sides, we have y equal to e to the power t on x. So the whole of this is equal to e to the power t divided by x, as we've seen there. So that is that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on my uh, Facebook page, Math with Them. If you have any question related to this or any mathematics question, leave it at the comment section. Bye-bye.